A spaceship is coming, and we need to go catch it with Canadarm2. I'm going to show you uh, where we operate Canadarm from and what it looks like to be a robotic operator on the International Space Station. If you want to operate a robot, it's nice to be able to see what you're doing. The space station has one special place for windows uh, called the cupola, and that's where we fly Canadarm2 from to grab a dragon. Let me show you. Here inside the cupola are all of the controls necessary in order to operate and see what you're doing with the Canadar. Let me show you what we have here in the center. We have the main computer interface that shows all of the displays necessary to operate it. Over here on the right, we have the uh, rotational hand controller. Here on the left, we have the translational hand controller to move things up and down. And then across, we have three screens that show various camera views around the outside of the space station so you can see uh, what you're doing. And then the last thing is the uh, manual control panel that has a way to control cameras, a way to set up the arm into different modes, make sure you have everything set through a nice simple interface so that you can uh, operate Canon Arm with confidence and assurance to let it do its job. To operate Canon Arm you need to have your body stable and so there's a place you can stick your feet. Not too complicated. Tuck my toes in here and now my hands are stable, my body's stable and I'm all set to operate Canon Arm too. We are extremely lucky not only to be able to uh, live and work in this place, but also to be the people who operate Canada Arm 2. Canada built the Canada Arm 2, and Canada Arm 2 built this space station. Everybody should be proud of that.